Marshlands are dynamic ecosystems that house aquatic fauna, pollinator insects, and a large variety of indigenous plants. Like forested wetlands, salt marshes are examples of natural infrastructure. These wetlands offer services to residents and to the environment. As well as helping to maintain water quality, these wetlands offer services to residents and to the environment, providing a good protection against erosion. So preserving natural infrastructure actually reduces cost related to climate change. Kokang Community Park is situated on a marsh that was filled in the 1970s to build the marina. We've been developing a community park here for the people of Kokang since 2015. In developing the park, the rural community of Kokang worked with various groups. We collaborated with them to make sure to preserve the site's natural infrastructure. We preserved the dead trees and planted indigenous trees and shrubs to try to encourage the development of the forest ecosystem in the community park. This provides shelter to insects, birds, and small mammals like bats. And it also acts as a corridor between the coastal zone and the nearby marsh. We have a lot of projects here that are working quite well with our swallow houses and the osprey nest. It creates the perfect habitat for butterflies, and other pollinator insects. This summer, I noticed a savanna sparrow who chose this habitat to nest. Since the park is located on a site that used to be a marsh, it's vulnerable to coastal flooding. The planning of the park was adjusted accordingly. We took in consideration climate change when designing facilities at the Kokang Park. For example, we raised the foundations for the stage and the lighthouse according to the estimated sea level rise. The elevation of the new facilities in the Kokang Community Park, as well as the conservation of natural infrastructure, play an important role in adapting to climate change. Thank you.